times grow dark and life grows mean, the hardest times we've ever seen. When darkness Pete Harkham, New York State Senate, 40th Senate District, and Peekskill is my home city. This is where our district office is, and I'm here to welcome folks to testify uh, on the draft scoping plan for the CLCPA. Tell me a little bit about the draft scoping plan and why it's important. It's, it's confusing for a lot of people. Well, this is the document, this is the plan, the roadmap, how we transform our economy uh, to a clean economy and a clean energy grid. And, and this, people have comments and concerns and this is their time to comment on that plan, whether it's pro, con, or whether they have new information to add. Have you heard much about what's happened with the other um, public comment um, meetings? I've heard that a lot of the, a lot of fossil fuel people are showing up saying we still need gas and oil. Well, if, if they do, that, that's a right. That's what these hearings are for. And the whole purpose of the scoping plan is that we get it right. We get the transition right. It's about a just transition. We want to preserve jobs. We're going through a closure at Indian Point. We're losing some good paying union jobs. So it's all about the just transition and we should learn as we go. How is this going to uh, be part of the regular economy? I mean, it, it's not a law. It's a scoping plan. So how is this going to fit into all the different agencies and decisions that are made? Well, the scoping plan will become law once it's approved, after the comment period, uh, and, and then, then it does become and have the force of law. And these will be all of the goals for all of the sectors of the economy in terms of electrification, home heating, transportation, all of the different sectors that contribute greenhouse gases. So how do we transition? and how are we creating those good paying green jobs that we know are a big part of this and we don't want to see going to China, we want to keep those good paying green jobs right here in New York State. Right, like, um, like making things uh, better with what we have. Well, in, in terms of um, home insulation and, and home heating, but I'll, I'll give you an example. We last year passed uh, 50 million dollars for clean transportation systems outside of New York City. With that money, Westchester County bought hybrid buses and the drivetrains were built in Binghamton. So those are good paying union jobs staying right in New York State and it's cyclical. You know, government money, good local decisions and good jobs being created right here in New York State. Well, that sounds like a good deal for everybody. That's a win-win for is, everybody. It and it's also clean and green. It is clean and green, and that's what we want. And we want to show folks that we can be clean and green, we can grow our economy, and produce good paying jobs with no one left behind. Can you say a little bit about the energy sector of, uh, of, of the things that they're considering in, in the plan? Well, the ener energy obviously is, is where um, a good chunk of the carbon comes from right. is our grid. So what we need to be doing is ramping up very rapidly wind, hydro, uh, solar especially. Um, we have an abundance of, of wind, we have an abundance of sunshine, and wind and sunshine are not dependent upon world security yeah. and they're not dependent upon world carbon energy markets. A lot of people have concerns about Chippy, the, the line coming down from Canada because it is an impoundment and not uh, not of the river, flow of the river. Do you have any strong feelings about that one way or the other? Do you really think that that kind of hydro is clean and green? Is it? Well, I, I think it is largely. You know, obviously nothing is perfect. You know, even if we look at solar and wind, it takes carbon and they're energy, energy intensive to make the components. So I think, especially at the beginning, you know, we're making steps we're making advances I don't think we can be purist about each and every step we take as long as we're making incremental progress I think it's a good start okay and what about that gas pipeline by Indian Point well that's the bane of many people's existence it's certainly a safety issue and what we want to be sure of is that we don't increase and create new gas infrastructure because then we know it's there for the next 30 to 40 years and what we're really trying to do is wean ourselves off of natural gas. Okay. 
Well, the last question would be about that pool of radioactive, well, two more questions. One is that uh, pool of radioactive water that's underneath the, the, the plant itself. Um, what's going to happen with that? And then the second question that kind of goes along with that is what about the water in the spent fuel pool? I don't think people are going to want to dump it into the Hudson. I, I don't think we should either. And part of the agreement um, of Holtec coming into New York State in return for the license was a strict plan with DEC. Um, and so we're going to have DEC review every aspect of that. I can't imagine DEC is going to allow dumping of highly radioactive water into the Hudson River. But that's an important issue that you raise and we'll be on top of that. That's my responsibility. That's excellent that you're taking that responsibility because the NRC says it's okay as long as it's below regulatory concern. Well, that's why we created our own decommissioning oversight board because none of us trust the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. There you go. Say, say just a bit about the, the, the DOB and then I'll let you go. All right, the, the decommissioning oversight board around the Indian Point nuclear power plant is so that we can have appropriate state agencies and stakeholders and elected officials to monitor the progress and, and to put safeguards in place both for labor, for the environment, for safety of the community um, during the decommissioning process because as we said there is a lack of trust of the Nuclear Regu Regulatory Commission and their absence of real engagement and boots on the ground during this process. Okay. Well you've been very generous with Thank your time. you. It's always great to see you. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. When times grow dark and life grows mean the hardest time